This week we have SGX coach Kevin Donahue and he's going to talk to us about what it takes to stay injury free. Hey Spartans, this is Kevin Gelati and welcome to the Spartan Athlete. You don't seem to have too many injuries. How do you race that much and stay pretty injury free? I mean, you may have your minor things here and there, but in the scheme of things, I've never really seen you down for the count. How do you pull it off? Yeah, yeah I, I think one thing starts, I picked my parents well. You know, I, I think genetics does have a lot to play with it. And for me, it's been a true blessing because I just think having a shorter, more muscular frame has really kept me from getting those like those weird knee injuries, those weird back injuries, because there's just not that much force put on my joints. My joints are really big, very bony, and surrounded by a ton of muscle. So for example, the taller athlete, if they step in a hole and their knee goes out to the side a little bit, there's a lot more force put on that uh, joint. Yeah. For me, there's a lot less. You've also done a lot with our Spartan SGX crew. Uh, if you were to tell the viewers out there, maybe a, a, a couple of your favorite techniques, for, uh, could you give anybody a little bit of advice? Because it, to some, it's yeah, going to be very sure. scary. I, I'd say that one of the things that's overlooked so much in our overhead grip strength obstacles, such as the monkey bars, the multi-rig, the twister, is that people forget about using their lower half and how important using the lower half of your body is in generating momentum and swing to actually help raise your hands up to the next ring, twister handle, or monkey bar by using that lower body momentum. So getting your lower body swinging a lot more like a clock, and a, like a pendulum on a clock, is gonna help generate force that can bring your hands up to places that you need them to be. Yeah. Thus, it takes a lot of stress off your upper body. It takes a lot of the need to actually have to pull yourself up and it, it takes a lot less tension off your hands. Like it's gonna save your grip a lot. Okay. So as a uh, guy who's done as many twisters as I have, are you a backwards or a forwards guy? I was a sideways guy. And then um, I was literally in the middle of the obstacle specialist class in Asheville in 2017, driving rainstorm. Bill Brumbach from Bro CR comes by and says, hey Kev, you ever tried it backwards? It's like, no, I want you to show our class. He comes and does it backward. It was like the first time I had Skittles. Don't tell Joe to send it out. No, we're not supposed to say with some sugar and all that. But I got on there and it was like an epiphany. Yeah. I had a driving rainstorm in my face. And even going with the driving rainstorm, going backwards was so much better. And I've never done it any other way since. But not everybody's gonna be able to do it backwards. Yeah. You have to have the core stability and you have to have a certain amount of upper body strength. And you have to be able to know how to match your lower half with your upper half when you're moving. So if you cannot get the backwards move, using that nice pendulum swing on the sideways twister to get yourself from, uh, from handle to handle is gonna be very helpful for you. You should have as many tools in your toolbox as possible. And every time you get to an open house or you get to an OCR gym or you're taking an XGX or obstacle specialty class, take some risks, go out there, try some new techniques. Even if you're not, even if you have no plan on using it, try something different and get another tool in your toolbox. Awesome. Kevin, great seeing you, man. Dude, great seeing you too, bro. Thanks for listening to the Spartan Athlete, the Friday edition of the Spartan Up podcast. Be sure to tune in next Friday where I talk to more athletes. We talk about racing, strategies, preparation, and getting you ready for a Spartan race. So get involved, subscribe, leave a comment, list on your favorite platform, and we'll see you next Friday.